Hey you guys, so <laughs> I didn't mean to hit the record button, but I was trying to take a picture. Anyway, welcome to your pick a pile reading. So these are the three piles that I have cur curated for you guys. Um, and so pile one, pile two, pile three. Take a second and intuitively pick a pile. The timestamp will be in the description box and I'll see you guys at your reading. Hey you guys and welcome to your reading. So if you picked the first card, then this reading is for you. So let's see what mermaid you picked. So um, this is a mermaid with a golden dragon. Cute. I'm getting good vibes off of this card. I just got this deck so I'm not that familiar with what they mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what this oracle card means in the little guidebook. Um, so the number on this card is three. So the number three um, could be significant to you or could be coming up at this time. Okay, so the divination message of this card says look forward to prosperity. So it says good news. Your hard work and careful planning are soon to pay off. While it is exciting to contemplate your new success, it is important to keep your head. Remember that with wealth comes responsibility and if you are not careful with your money, it may soon be gone. Do not give into, into the temptation to spend quickly and avoid falling victim to bad investments. Instead, remember your long-term goals and choose a path that is consistent with what you wish to accomplish in life. Just the same, it is okay to splurge a little. You deserve it. So then it says there's an antithesis, which basically means like the opposite, kind of like I guess like a reversal meaning, but this says uh, beware of bad investments. It says a new business proposal or investment opportunity is looming on your horizon, but take care to weigh your options carefully before making any rash decisions. Sometimes what sounds too good to be true truly is, and a poor choice now can, uh, can have devastating results down the road. Okay, so that's the mermaid that I picked for you guys. Hopefully, um, that was a message in there for you. Okay, and let's continue with your reading. Got another oracle card for you that says rejection. Okay, so there, so that's kind of like correlating into if there is something, like just be careful of some sort of bad investment um, and just wrong decisions like discern you, you use your discernment be careful of just making bad decisions i feel like in general but you might need, be needing to reject something here and with the mermaid card that we just read it could have to do with some sort of bad investment i'm going to read also um what the rejection set, says in here because i love these little stories so um, it says, Ivory Tower, they won't use me. So the legend, the artist is summoned for jury duty. I'm going to show you guys the imagery on this card real quick. It says the artist is summoned for jury duty, but they won't use him. He doesn't fit their concept of what a juror should be. He paints pictures no one understands. He lives alone. They want somebody who will put himself in the other guy's place, but he will never do that. He doesn't get mixed up with anything or anyone. They honor his individuality when they invite him, yet when he appears, they reject it by not using him. Inspiration. You don't have to be on the inside track. Be true to yourself and you will not be unhappy. Rejection is spirit's protection. Yes. Personal inquiry. Am I working with or against my environment? What is the purpose of my present solitude? Key ideas. 
others approval, unsupportive environment, working alone, and arrival of a teacher. Keywords, protection, exclusion, and development. Okay, so these two, I feel like these two did correlate. For some of you, there is a message in there about a bad investment. For others of you, just in general, you're feeling like rejected. And um, I feel like this is, has to do with you. You're on the come up. You, you know, this card said good news. You've been working hard. So um, I'll leave that at that. And then these uh, picked five tarot cards. These are also new cards that I got. And all of these um, I do upright. So actually we're gonna go from the bottom here. So we have the Ace of Water, Four of Earth, Eight of Air. We have the Page of Fire and we have the King of Air. Okay, so we have all the elements here in your reading. So that's cool. So the Ace of Water, it says, falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. Some of you guys could be getting a new home, could be moving. Um, but the Ace of Water, it's the Ace of Cups. So this is like a new, like I feel like rejection is spirit's protection. Remember that. I feel like you are working on something. I feel like you are, you know, maybe a unique character. But whatever you're doing, it's like, it's authentic. And that's the best place that you can work from. You thrive in your authenticity. So I see you being very happy and joyful here with the Ace of Cups. Um, and possible new love coming in as well. Whatever you're doing, um, like something's gonna make you very happy here very soon. Could be coming across some type of information. I feel like you're having a breakthrough here, understanding that like you're the most important person in your life. Your happiness is of utmost importance and like Loki. Um, and I'm um, I'm getting here like if this was a person, an actual person, or maybe even like a group of friends who maybe you're getting rejected from, and it has you really in your head. But then you realize like I'm like the baddest bitch in the world. I don't need other people around me because I know who I am, I know what I have to offer, and it's just, that's just what it is. This page of fire says, news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. Loki, please, I'm making a video. Thanks. King of Air says, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. The, this Four of Earth says, being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate, okay? I'm going to clarify these cards. Um, no, 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 no. She's so annoying. What is this that popped out here? Ooh, we have the Ace of Swords on the Ace of Water. So there's this some type of information that's like, I feel like, again, you're going to be having a breakthrough here and possibly just realizing how worthy you truly are. And I love that. Self-worth. Six of Pentacles. This is so this is that that bad business is coming out once again. The Six of Pentacles in reverse is literally like a bad business deal. Um, so very you guys need to be cautious of that. Ace of Wands in reverse clarifying the Eight of Air. So this could be, for example, like someone trying to offer you some sort of opportunity saying you're going to be making so much money. And it's like you've been, try been trying to manifest this money. Um, and so you you're gonna you're gonna fold on yourself and maybe uh, uh, partake in this opportunity, but it's not in alignment with who you are. And there's no integrity here in this whatever offer this is. 
so be careful um, um, about what you're doing to make money here page of wands I see here that you may be look the cherry in reverse talks about look this is literally what I just this is literally the cards to even like affirm what I just said the cherry in reverse a bad decision temperance being patient don't make a bad decision because you're not you don't want to be patient temper out these emotions we have the sun on the back of the deck your future what's to come when you be patient is so much brighter than getting caught up in this bad in this bad um deal here um okay the eight of cups in reverse and then it's like hard for you to walk in confidence and do the right thing i'm seeing here um but you are you don't have to settle you don't have to fold on yourself all you have to do is create with the page of fire that is all about creation look it says creative here i'm just noticing that outgoing creative confident and, and mischievous as well um so look news of an exciting new endeavor use your originality and ingenuity like you all you have to do is create there's so much to be created there's so much life don't get don't be stuck in your head the eight of air says an illusion of being trapped a lack of self-confidence and afraid to take action and then right next to that we have being confident being creative taking action right the fire and especially the page is all about taking that action taking the necessary forward steps we have justice here so i see you doing the right thing but you definitely needed this message okay i'm feeling so i hope this is definitely re resonating with who it's supposed to so let's clarify this king of air we have the page of wand in reverse here so it's like you are like swaddling on whether to move forward or being like trapped in your head here look the hangman you're just kind of in a what do i do it's like you're at a pause here but you are transforming here and i feel like whoever is whoever picked this pile you really really like this was definitely your message um to hear this so you know that like you don't have to do the wrong thing just to make some money or just to get to where you want to be god will never never fail you and god's plan takes time and, and and divine timing is at work here okay i'm gonna get an affirmation card for you give me an affirmation for pile one please Okay, we have, I accomplish anything I put my mind to. So, that's what I have for you, Pile 1. Please like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in your next reading. Okay. <laughs> If you guys pick card number two, this reading is going to be for you. So, let's see what card you guys picked. We have a Reaching for Sunset. So cute. I really love the imagery on these cards. So, this is number 12. So, number the number 12 could be significant for you. Um, let's see what it says. I'm not familiar with these cards. So, I'm just going to read to you what it says out of my little book here. Um... So the, div the divination message says the journey's end. It says you're approaching the last legs of a long and tiring journey. One that cannot end soon enough to suit you. You are definitely ready for some closure. Fear not, although this is difficult situation has drawn on for so long, there really is an end in sight. Once the dust has cleared, take some time to reflect on what you have been through and make peace with your struggles before starting something else. Remember that when one door closes, another opens, and you are definitely poised for a promising new beginning. Reach for that sunset and embrace the forthcoming dawn of the new day. Antithesis says, let it go. So you have been clinging too hard to someone or something, but what you once had is gone. All that is left is a shadow that cannot and should not last. Let it go gracefully. This loss is inevitable and you 
and until you accept it, you could not move on to life's next great adventure. So that's what I have for you there. And then I have another oracle card for you, and it says insecurity, okay? So I'm going to read to you the little message in this um, oracle deck as well, because I love this deck. Um, I thought I just saw it, just kidding insecurity all right we have demon red rainbow their greatest adversary is the one living inside me so the legend bob is an inventor yet never finishes anything always giving up on his projects convinced they are useless one day he finishes something and it is elated and he is elated until a demon appears taunting him the demon red rainbow is com comprised of our greatest fears in a dream in a dream, Bob discovers that he can dis distinguish between real and imagined fears. The demon Red Rainbow can no longer stop him from realizing his dreams. Inspiration, miraculous changes lie ahead. Life always takes a turn for the better when we face our demons. Stay on course. Trust that an, that an ally will appear. The gift of adversity is never given without the ability to overcome it. Personal inquiry, do I listen to my fear? How can I tap into my courage? Okay, so love that. Let's get into the tarot now. These are all gonna be upper right. So we have the magician, Archangel Raziel. We have Ego, um, Archangel Jophiel. And this is, what is 15 in the tarot? This is, uh, actually, what is it? Oh, this is actually the devil. So this says ego. Okay, so we have the devil here. Oh my God. And we have the lovers right next to it. What type of shit is this? We have the two of earth. And we have the two of water. Wow, okay, so we have 22 here. And then we have divine counterparts, the ego and the lover. So you are definitely in like, I feel like you're in um, in conflict with your own inner demons for sure. But the light, the love is so much brighter than, um, than the ego, than the dark. Um, so I feel like you can really manifest your way to um, your desires. You can really manifest the life that you dream of. And to like right now, I'm going to pray over you and say that like your demons are dead and gone. Your fear, you know, fear does not come from God. This is the devil. So I am praying that all fears and darkness is eradicated from your energy. And um, you can just think positively, think positive thoughts, okay? Um, yes, there's definitely balance being restored in your life the two of water it says a relationship that continues to grow closer i feel like this is a relationship with yourself it says forgiveness and the positive resolution of a conflict this two of earth says too much going on at once the need to make a decision consider a more playful approach so i feel like you are moving forward um but like i said you are like manifesting what's in alignment for you this lover says intimate relationships carefully weigh your decisions good health the ego card says a false sense of entrapment being overly focused on material things and negative or fear-based thoughts okay and then this magician card says you are ready you have the resources or the ability to manifest them life is magical all right so i'm going to clarify these cards so clarify the magician for me please we have the fool in reverse so yeah you're manifesting this new life for yourself um and there is a lack of confidence uh a lack of faith um in you moving forward but look at this what you don't see here is you're going to be so successful you're going to be so successful 
so happy things are really coming to into alignment for you um once you just start to be more positive and think more good thoughts and stop um living in fear truly look we have the king of pentacles clarifying the lovers this is ultimate stability wealth health success here okay that's what i see for you we have the ten of cups we have a marriage i see you getting married if you guys don't want to get married i see you um in a long-term committed relationship here with the five of cups in the tower i feel like you're really moving towards like the best times of your life i feel like you have been you have gone through a lot and i think that was what this card was saying like you you've been going through a lot you've been through a lot and it's time for you to be the king it's time for you to attract and live the life that you're meant to we're meant to live luxurious over filled overflowing cups type of life <laughs> does that make sense our barns are supposed to be filled our cups are, are supposed to be overflowing okay we have the three of swords on the back of the deck so you are going through a time of healing okay so respect respect that healing that you're going through honor that give me an affirmation for pile two please Give me an affirmation for prior two, please. Oop. We have, I enjoy the little things and I cherish them. All right, that's what I have for you, Pile 2. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, guys, and welcome to your reading. So um, if you picked card three, this um, reading is going to be for you. So let's see what mermaid you picked. All right, great. We have the Stardust Angel. Look how pretty she is. I actually picked this card for myself earlier. So let's see what's going on with you guys with the Stardust Angel. We have the divination meaning says follow your guiding star. And I actually didn't really resonate with this part because I don't have anyone that I can look up to. So I'm gonna read this part and I'm gonna there's another antithesis as well. But the divin the divination meaning for this card is follow your guiding star. And it says we all have someone in our lives that we can look to as a role model somebody who can guide us in times of trouble or uncertainty now is just such a time and it is in your best interest to learn to turn to this person or to follow his or her example their wisdom good sense and strong moral compass are precisely what you need to get your own life back on your preferred path bro my cat <laughs> is over here Okay, and the antithesis says, look for guidance within. Lately, it seems everyone has something to say, some word of caution or piece of advice. Sorting through so many opinions can be a daunting task and one that is not really necessary. You have great intuition and a solid set of principles, so you need only look inward to make a decision that is right for you. Okay, so I feel like with this card, some of you could either, like you actually do have a role model, someone that you can just confide in, talk to that person, or uh, or some of you are really just you don't you guys don't have that type of person but you yourself like you're literally your own best friend you're literally like your own parent you're literally you know like everything <laughs> into one so you really have to confide in yourself and use your own intuition get some rest if needed um i know like these readings really help me because i'm that type of person who doesn't really have anyone to confide in so um yes yeah church better church there's this church that i go to i don't go to it i've never been to the one in austin i should look into that um but it's called self-realization fellowship and um i started going there whenever i lived in san antonio um whenever i was in houston i did visit the church because there's only probably like one in your area 
but I didn't vibe with the one um, that was in Houston. And now I'm in Austin and I haven't been to the one here. So I myself should check it out. But if you guys want to see if you guys have an SRF around you, self-realization fellowship, um, you should check it out for sure. Oracle perfection. Perfection. This is giving me Virgo vibes. Let's read what this card says. I think perfection does exist, but I feel like this card is going to say basically you're trying to be perfect and like that's to your detriment. But let's see what it says. All right, we have perfection. Righteous Raspberry. I have the same high standards for myself as I have for others. The legend. Raspberry needs no makeup to accentuate her exquisite features, but she wears it anyway. She's a perfectionist. She speaks the truth at all times, believing that she is helping others by sharing her truth. All statements such as your child is overweight are honest. They make others avoid her. Oh my gosh, this is me. <laughs> Lonely, she seeks the advice of her favorite elderberry, who teaches her that honesty without kindness is cruelty. Her new vulnerability allows her to see the beauty in others as well as in herself. I love that. So inspiration. Are you being too hard on yourself and consequently on others? Begin to look for what's right and good in your world and you will see it. Personal inquiry. Where am I presently focusing? Knowing what's right and telling others about it might not be the best way of being. Okay, so that's probably a message for some of you guys. Now let's get into the tarot. So we have the Ten of Air, Ten of Swords. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Look, some of you guys could be Virgos. We have the Knight of Air, the Three of Air. Oh, you guys actually got one more card than any, everybody else. Oh, we have the King of Earth, one of my favorite cards. We have the Two of Fire, so, um, okay. Ten of Air, the Hermit, Knight of Air, Three of Air, King of Air, Two of Air, okay. So there is some forward movement happening here. Um, I feel like you're going through a lot mentally, psychologically, spiritually, emotionally. Um, and this could cause your physical body to be tired, right? So to really ground down in this energy of being... We have the King of Earth that says generous, professional, responsible, and practical. That could be, you know, attributes you're needing to ground down in being generous, professional, responsible, and practical. I love that. It says a successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Mita's touch. Okay, so it's like everything you touch turns to gold. Oh my gosh, look at the imagery on this card. There's a rainbow here. He looks so happy. He's just like stunner. Oh, there's butterflies here, flowers. Look how beautiful in the sun. It's so pretty. Um, so that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. You could definitely have Virgo in your chart, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, but I feel like you're a truth seeker. You're seeking the truth. Uh, you're leaving bullshit be behind with a ten of air, the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and accept things to get better now expect things to get better now recovering from an addiction okay and with our hermit energy you, you you've you're realizing a lot okay a lot of information is coming towards you right now we have spend time in quiet meditation spiritual teaching self-discovery archangel raziel with the knight of air we have intelligent decisive idealistic and tireless okay um but with the three of air there it's like Look, the three of air says great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself or others. Like you're in a time of healing, but you're also wanting to like go, go, go. Um, so there there's there's needs to be balance restored here in, in that regard. Um, it says events that occur with great speed with the knight of air here. Take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions, okay? With the two of fire, we have you come into your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward, okay? New partnerships, definitely. I definitely see, there's definitely, because after this hermit energy, we have the wheel of fortune. And with the king of earth here, the two of, this two of fire, talking about new partnerships, I like that. 
um, yes, a successful time is, is here for you. I'm going to clarify these cards. shuffle this deck real quick because I don't know when I last shuffled it. Ooh. Okay. Judgment showing her face. I love judgment. Um, I love this card. This is like the universe there's usually a trumpet here but look the the flag is being waved um things are going to start to balance out for you in your favor look we have the ten of swords coming out again um i really need to acknowledge that you've been through a lot but it's also coming to an end here okay um you're about to get a lot of information a lot of truth if not, you're, if you're not already going through that, you know, learning why things had to happen. We have the Six of Swords going to calmer waters. Um, peace of mind. This is a peace of mind. Getting to a peace of mind. The Ace of Wands delay. So take taking time to heal. Taking time to heal before you... Um, get back to work or get moving because i do see you're going to be busy very soon here like the ten of wands you're going to have a lot of work to do soon so taking this time to heal um so that when it's time to get on the floor you're ready you know the two of swords clarifying the two of wands i feel like you don't see your success coming i feel like you don't see your success coming for whatever reason um, just because maybe you've been going through a lot and I feel like you know that you, 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 you're, you know that you're manifesting success, but I feel like there's a lot of other emotions and thoughts going on in your mind that like, I feel like when it comes, because I can see this thing unfold, I feel like when you're in this king of earth energy, when you're actually embodying this success it's like i feel like even then you're going to be not taking things for granted but you're going to be so caught up just like working putting in the work and and still you know healing I feel like there's a message here to um, that you're getting out of this lack mentality. I feel like you're really becoming like this king of earth is your potential to be successful, to look, it's, it's confidently accept opportunities you're offered, the meet us touch, like. I feel like you just don't realize how powerful you are, um, how great your potential is. You're destined for this. You already are this. You just have to embody that. Um, the Ten of Wands actually also does talk about success because you've been working so hard. Um, but there's just this energy of also you um, taking the time to heal and also moving forward from that. And there is like the two of swords, the ace of swords in reverse. It's like you kind of don't want to accept some sort of truth, even though you're being guided to go to a, a more peaceful time in your life in regards to like, I don't know if it's a relationship that ended or just a bunch of shit that ended that hit the fan. But even though you know that those things are no longer serving you, it's just hard to move forward. Um, so that's just a message there to move forward that things are like reconfiguring in your life all the pieces of the puzzle are coming together and not everyone can come with you on this journey trust that you know whoever is not there with you anymore is for the best because you're 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 valuable okay you're a diamond 
and they're they're pebbles okay the people that you were hanging out with or the energy that you were giving to whatever is not not worth your time or energy okay okay give me an affirmation for pile three please Give me an affirmation for pile three, please. Okay, we have my body, mind, and soul are the picture of perfect health. Give me affirmation for pile three. <laughs> okay, we have my partner is cheering at the sign of my enormous success okay so you could have been with someone who was like feeding off of your energy and um you deserve to be with someone who wants to see you win and um yeah i feel like if you are a virgo virgo is all about health and wellness and so you know if people are around you that aren't like that aren't promoting that they gotta go bye 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 baby okay so that's what i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed this reading please like the video Ooh, and then i gotta i gotta show y'all this one i am a winner yes ma'am yes the fuck you are i'll see you guys in your next reading everything will work out for me <laughs> all right bye